10 years living in Japan and yet I have never seen Tokyo on a boat. <laughs> Today's a whole, a whole new experience. <laughs> we just moved to Tokyo three weeks ago and we've been really having a lot of fun exploring it. But today we're going to a few new spots that we've never been before. Yeah. Should be good. And not just new places, new ways of seeing them. Like this private boat we've got all to ourselves as we chug on down the Sumida River with the tallest building in Japan behind us, Tokyo Sky Tree. Historically, back in like the 19th century, often Tokyo is referred to as the Venice of the East because the city, you know, it's built on the waterfront, it's built on the sea, it used to have lots of canals and things. But unfortunately, after the Second World War, when Tokyo had a big construction boom, they actually filled in a lot of those canals and Tokyo lost a little bit of its identity as a sort of water city. But you still can chug on down these canals and you can go down Tokyo Bay and get an incredible view of the skyline that uh, you can't get any other way. We're renting out this Yakata Bune yeah, the for the day. As someone with a weird obsession with uh, tall skyscrapers, I've always been fascinated by the sky tree. It's the third tallest structure in the world. It is incredible. But what I will say is the view from it, you can do better. And where the Tokyo sky tree is over here, kind of towards Asakusa and uh, East Tokyo, it's not really in the middle of Tokyo, so you miss out on some of the cool kind of visceral experience of going somewhere like Mori Tower in Roppongi or Shibuya Scramble Tower, where you're in the middle of Tokyo and you can see it all around you. I don't recommend the Sky Tree as, uh, as an observation deck. There's better places in Tokyo to, to go and uh, get that view. I really like this building that you can see behind me here. This is the Asahi headquarters, Asahi Beer. It's shaped like a beer glass. Yeah. Can you see it? It's really cute. Apparently you can go up there and have a glass of Asahi beer, so if that's your thing. This area is really cool. We've got the train going overhead. We've got boats going past us here. Hello. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello. Wow. I feel popular. <laughs> that breeze is beautiful. Tokyo just has some of the most unique architecture on the planet. And it's been really fun so far this morning, just taking it all in, going down the river. All right, let me give you guys a tour of the inside of our Yakata Bune. It's really cool. So it's a traditional room. It's like you're in a washitsu. It's got tatami on the floor. Check it out. Yeah, you wouldn't know. If you couldn't see out the windows, you wouldn't know we're on a boat necessarily, right? Yeah. It feels like a giant izakaya. And it's got a really it beautiful ukiyo-e print at the end of Mount Fuji, right? Come on in. And it's got air conditioning. <laughs> what more could you want? It's very cold, actually. There's even an area for karaoke. So if you could come here and rent it out for a party, it would be amazing. Sing too much volcano. <laughs> Available on iTunes. Scare the locals. You can see the little lanterns decorating the outside of the boat. This boat looks so nice at nighttime. Um, if you're walking around this area at nighttime, you can see all the Yakata Bune like lit up their lanterns. Looks really pretty. Oh. Looks really nice, wow. This is quite the banquet. We've got all the tempura in Japan ever. A mountain of tempura. Sashimi, roast beef, rice, edamame, miso, and ginger ale. Cheers. What are you most I excited about? Asparagus. Asparagus? Yeah, asparagus tempura is rare. This stuff is expensive in Japan. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm, really good. I feel pretty badass having the whole, well, I said that in a very American way. I feel very badass. <laughs> I, do, I do feel like an emperor, like he's got the whole of the sea to themselves. Like, the food's really nice. It's very good. Yeah, so far everything's been good, but the sashimi, that's been my favorite. It's really nice. Really yeah. fresh, Yeah. really juicy. So apparently the soup, you're supposed to pour it onto the rice. Really? So they just gave us a little bit of rice so that we can fit the soup in it. Kind of what? like a ochazuke. Yeah. And then you drink it. So we've traveled about 10 kilometers now from Tokyo Sky Tree down here to Tokyo Bay with the Rainbow Bridge and behind me the Fuji Television Building, one of the most iconic buildings in Odaiba. This new kind of futuristic development that was built in the 90s. And also a Statue of Liberty there. I'm not quite sure why that's there. I think it was donated by the French or something I read about, but I love this building. It's so iconic. I still remember my first day uh, that I came to Tokyo when I landed here 10 years ago on the jet program. I got a bus, I got a coach from Narita Airport all the way into Tokyo. We came through here over the Rainbow Bridge and I'll never forget looking out the window, jet lag destroyed and dead, 
and checking out that building and thinking, yes, I've made it to Japan. What an amazing building it was. It was a bloody good first day in my time in Japan. So I feel kind of weirdly nostalgic looking at it. So I always wondered why the Rainbow Bridge was called the Rainbow Bridge because it's very rarely rainbow, but every once in a while on a special day, I still haven't figured out which days, but sometimes it is rainbow and I guess that's where it gets the name. I do recommend Odaiba as a great place to get like a view of the Tokyo skyline though. Like if you're not on the boat like we are now, then uh, do go over there and have a look. There's some good shops, restaurants, games, arcades, and you can go over there, sometimes even have a barbecue and overlook the Tokyo skyline. So Odaiba, really cool place to visit. It's just kind of cool, like Tokyo skyline's changed so much in the time that I've been here. Like I'd say maybe 25% of the buildings you can see here have been built in the last 10 years, especially over there, that's the Olympic Village. They built all that for the Olympics, for the athletes to stay in. I think Tokyo Bay is one of the few places you can get a sense of just the sheer scale of the city. Welcome to Miniature Museum Small Worlds. Oh, yeah. This is one of the largest miniature museums in all of Asia, and I'm very excited because I love miniature stuff. Oh, so does yeah. Chris. When I was a kid, I used to make like little railway tracks and airports and stuff out of like Lego blocks <laughs> and Duplo. And yeah, I, I wish I still did it. I don't know when I became so old, so jaded. <laughs> the cats would eat it, to be fair. Yeah. Look at that, you can see straight inside, the control center. Attention to detail here is mind boggling. This is what I want my basement to look like when I'm 50. I'm just gonna sit in a room and do this. Make a little miniature Ryotaro, run it over with the train. I feel very luxury. I like each area has its own sort of countries. Each area has like a button, so you can kind of interact with the environment. But in this case, I made the roundabout go round. Hell yeah. So this is the Japan area. This is probably my favorite area so far. It's really neat. It's modeled off of Azabujuban, mm. which is an area in Tokyo close to Roppongi. And around Tokyo Tower, right? Yeah. Really damn cool. When we came in, I, what I love is the day and night cycles, right? Yeah, yeah. When we came in, it was nighttime. All the neon lights were lit up and I got my phone out, took a few videos. And I think if you showed it to someone, you could be like, yeah, I've got a great view of Tokyo tonight. And there was, well, I panned down from Tokyo Tower and the neon lights and there was like a little, someone on oh, a bicycle. Oh yeah, if you push this button. There's a button here and you can see them going around the, the bicycle. Bicycles. This is my favorite section so far. In terms of attention to detail, night lighting, incredible. Really damn cool. I want one, I want one now. All right, we are about to go inside this machine here to get 3D scanned and they're gonna make little miniatures of me and Chris. Yeah, we're gonna hold our pose for like three or four minutes. Yeah, I've done it before and I fainted the first time. What? Why? <laughs> but once it gets printed out, we're gonna hide it somewhere in this exhibit. So you guys gotta come here and find us. We're gonna be in, in different spots. So Chris will be in one spot and I'll be in another. Um, You'll you, definitely find us in there amongst the thousands of figurines and massive cities. I feel like if you know our channels, and you know enough about us, you'll be able to figure out where we've placed our characters. That's, that's your yeah. hint. If you know enough about my nationality, then that might, that's a clue. <laughs> that won't help though, but good luck. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Welcome to the Prince Hotel, Tokyo Bay Shiomi. This place is gorgeous. Yeah, Look cool. at this lobby. It feels more like walking into an art gallery. When I came in. I, I love it. The four big pieces of artwork yeah. like this here. You've got chairs in the shape of a boat. Chris loves the boat. They are pretty damn cool. <laughs> There's wheels on the ceiling as well. It's easily one of the most impressive lobbies I've seen at Tokyo Hotel. Yeah, it's quite a new hotel. Um, it's only been around for a couple years and they've invited us to stay here for the night. So I'm really excited to see what our room is like. Absolutely. Shall we go upstairs? Let's go and check it out. Oh, there we are. Nine, seven, six. You've got a map on the wall here. I really like it. The card has it too. Really cute. Very stylish. Ooh, oh, I like the wall. Very nice, very nice. Come on in. That's really pretty. Take my shoes off. Trip up the cameraman. <laughs> wow, yeah, I love the uh, 
the light coming into the room. This nice round light here. It's made Good for, for YouTubers. Selfies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, look at the river. We got a, a river view. Oh, and the train. You can see the train. Chris will like that. I love to look at the trains. I just love the trains. Oh my gosh, it's the it's the 415 train to Fukushima. Shut up. That's, that's nice, there's a train. Really great room though. Um, lots of chairs. I judge a room by the sheer amount of chairs I can sit in. I might sit here. Dare I say, I might sit over here. This is a really bouncy couch. Bouncy couch. Um, nice bed. I like that. These lamps are very, uh, very kind of Contemporary, very cool. Don't want to break that. We've stayed in a lot of hotels because Chris really likes staying in hotels. It's like his hobby. Um, I'm like a spend oh, as little money as possible type of person, but Chris likes fancy hotels. I don't like fancy hotels. He's lying. But I often, before I lived in Tokyo, I had to stay in hotels when I came here because I'm not sure I don't beg people. Can I sleep on your couch? Oh wow, and you can see uh, Tokyo Skytree. This whole video is just me going, it's Tokyo Skytree. It's Tokyo Skytree. <laughs> the technique. So the room comes with a little easel where you can write and draw. <laughs> I did our cat Maro. Yeah. <laughs> like he's here in the room with us. He looks like a werewolf. Each uh, floor has subtly different artwork mm. and uh, the artwork here, this is the map of the area, right? Yeah, Tokyo. Hand-drawn map. One of the coolest things about being here, apart from the trains of course, is that you can sort of get away from the hustle and bustle of downtown Tokyo and have a nice stroll yeah. around the sort of bay area, around the riverside and the sea. And we're close by to Tokyo Disneyland. If you're mm. going to be visiting Tokyo Disneyland, this would be a really convenient place to stay. Um, close by Tokyo Station, it's easy to get here. So if you're like booking a Shinkansen or something. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Odaiba, oh, and the boat. Yeah. Oh, and the boat has a little wharf outside, so you can get off the boat, like a five minute walk from this hotel. The rooms in this hotel mm. are slightly bigger than most other Yeah, they hotels. are, aren't they? Are you hungry yet? After our massive boat feast <laughs> earlier today? <laughs> I am slightly peckish. All this, uh, I've put so much energy into drawing that I need to <laughs> get my calories back. Cheers! Well, look at this. It a looks feast so good. fit for a YouTuber, the chef's special selection. What have we got there? We've got corn potage soup. We have this assortment of ham and mozzarella and a deviled egg. We've got white fish over here, a rack of lamb, chicken for you. Don't know what that is, what's that? I'm not sure, what is it? Let's try it, it's an appetizer. I've already eaten mine. What, um, oh, what was it then? <laughs> I ate it so fast, I, I didn't really think. Mm, liver pate. Liver pate. And here we have maze gohan, mixed rice. Fantastic. Yeah, everything looks really nice. And I've got a little cocktail here. This is uh, mango cider. Oh, it's mm, very fresh. It's really nice. Wonderful, wonderful. So they use um, locally sourced ingredients here, which is really nice. Everything looks amazing. One of the benefits, again, I guess, being just across over the road from Toyosu Fish Market, the largest fish mm. market in Tokyo. And the world, I think. Mm. All right, we're gonna have our final course, the dessert. It looks beautiful. I like the little jelly, like ice cube-like things. They're adorable. Yeah, they're very artistic indeed. I'm excited for the raspberries. Raspberries are hard to find in Japan, so whenever I see them, I get really happy. <laughs> oh, it's really delicate. When I see raspberries, I get happy. Well, genuinely, they're so good. Not to get you for your birthday. <laughs> Please. <laughs> mm. Mm. That pastry is amazing. That's very good. It's, it's delicious. Ooh. Tokyo 2022 Hukagawa Winery. That looks nice. It's cloudy. It looks like apple juice. So, we have some uh, some local wine, although the grapes are from Yamagata. Yeah, I saw that. My beloved spiritual home. Yamagata yeah, has the best. Oh, my oh Jesus. Great start. The best Chris. grapes in Japan. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> we magically, the table's magically clean now. It smells really good though. It smells really fruity. Beautiful, fuchsia white wine. Cheers. Cheers.
Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty damn good. I like that. If all wine tasted like that, I'd drink wine. <laughs> it tastes like a sparkly grape juice. It's really fruity. Mmm. And as the sun goes down over Tokyo, we're treated to a really nice sunset. Absolutely stunning. Pink skies, sky tree, skyline. I don't see the pink part. The gentle Oh, it's over there. Oh, that looks trains. nice, actually. We are watching an alien movie tonight, so... Um... <laughs> it's, a film, it's a film on Netflix. <laughs> Chris yeah. likes alien movies. I don't know what alien but it's so on... The TV's here, we'll have Netflix on. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty damn good, yes. so... We're gonna chill and watch our alien Netflix, movies. aliens, white wine. What more could you want from a good night out in Tokyo? <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> and we'll see you in the morning. It's hard to describe how damn relaxing it is after a long day or a nice start to the morning, just hopping in 42 degree Celsius warm water, relaxing, unwinding, taking in the artwork. It's a great start to the day or a great end to the day. Surprisingly rare for hotels in Tokyo actually, so yeah, they certainly got this right. This is bloody incredible. So if you're coming to a public bath like this, be respectful, be mindful, don't be too splashy and for the love of God, don't wear a towel in here as well. And of course, have a big long shower before you do get in as well. Clean yourself thoroughly. And in my case, I like to have a nice long shower afterwards as well to wash off anything. But uh, yeah, above all, enjoy it. Very relaxing. And after this, breakfast time. Oh. oh, and don't put your head in the water. Keep it up and out of the water. Breaking all the rules here. Good morning! Did you have a nice bath? It was lovely. Without me? The benefits of having no tattoos. I can <laughs> relax in the bath and Charlotte can't. <laughs> I am enjoying a nice French toast instead. Yeah, you always lambast me for my so-called, like, unbalanced breakfast. Yeah, okay, so sausage, please. <laughs> <laughs> There's something healthy about that. Maybe the broccoli. <laughs> Secret to my success? Sausages. Lots of them. Broccoli. Tomatoes. Fish. French bread, chips, bacon. That is a well-rounded breakfast. You've literally just got a pile of like sauce and French toast. It's amazing. But there's a yogurt with the yogurt with the chipmunk on, so it's healthy. But the the smoothie's pretty nice actually. Yeah, the smoothie's delicious. That's why I have several of them. Mm. It's just made with fruit only. It's really nice. What was your favourite thing about the hotel though, other than the massive amounts of French bread? <laughs> um, probably the view at the window. It was really mm. nice. I love just sitting on the sofa at night time and looking out and the huge TV. We watched a really nice movie. Mm, uh, that's a good movie. The bed was comfy. The bed was super comfy. Um, yeah, it was just a great time all around. I slept very well on the bed. You like snored a lot. No, I judge a good bed by its pillows and the pillows were soft were and really fluffy nice. like a dream. <laughs> Indeed. But if you guys come here, we do have a little cheeky discount for you. Yeah, check out the, uh, check out the code in the description box and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah, I think uh, for me, the overall highlight though was the boat. I would definitely do that again. That was really fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Just sailing through Tokyo in the morning, having like the Sumida River all to yourself. That's yeah, pretty bad. and the weather was perfect. You got pretty lucky. So I recommend yeah. doing that. If you come with a group of people, it's the perfect way to explore Tokyo uh, and relax while doing it. But uh, as always guys, thanks for watching us here on TC and um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Have bye a good bye. one. Time to munch on that French taste. <laughs> sausages. Sa Plate of sausages. sausages. <laughs> oh, I think it's a mushroom. Is that a mushroom? No. That's a massive mushroom. That's a fish, surely. Welcome back to Fish or Mushroom. <laughs> the brand new game show where we discover the food. Fish dish that. I'm the winner of the show. Of the show. <laughs> Tune in next week where we well, really nice. eat more fish and mushrooms. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>